Hello student, uh, today we will do a very tricky part of financial calculation but I assure you that this is very easy and you can easily understand it. This is called uh, calculation of a stock beta. Uh, whenever you are interested to calculate a stock beta, you need two information. One, you can take any uh, index price. So I am taking KC 100 index over here. These are taken as a closing monthly stock indexes which I selected for the 16 months. And second is to, you will take second column in which you will keep any stock price, whatever you are interested to calculate beta. So these are the data which I selected for a company. First student, I will take returns of KC 100 index and for it, you will take current minus receding Remember this you have done many times in your basic financial calculation and you will divide it by the previous price. So you will get return and you will drag this information. You will calculate return. In similar pattern, you will calculate returns of a stock and I hope that you can uh, recall your teacher has told you many times how to calculate return of any stock take P1 minus P0 and divided by P naught. So this will give you a return of the stock here. Once both return has been computed by you, then student you will come and work on the covariance of the market. Remember covariance will show a, a relationship between market to itself and for calculation of this one, you will go in functions and you will go in a statistical tools in statistical you will check covariance remember there are two covariances one based on sample and one based on population it's up to you you can select anyone but i am taking covariance of the sample once you will select it it will give you two arrows remember that in both the array you will select uh, KC 100 index that I am taking carefully see that how we take this information first you will drag from first to last one then from tab you will move to next one and again you will take the same information remember that covariance of the market itself can only be calculated when in both the array you keep the same information otherwise your calculation will become wrong I hope that this point is clear then student you need variance of the market for this again you will go in the functions you already working on the statistical tool so you will go to the variance there again you can see that there are two types of variances are given i am taking variance of uh, variance of sample yes variance of sample so you will drag the market index values over here you no need to go to the number two this is giving you variance of market carefully see that we are working on variance of the market so i am taking variance of the market from the market returns both values are come out so beta of the market before calculation reminding you your teacher has told you many times that beta of the market should be equal to one because the stock market beta should be equal to one so you will see that when I will take this I will divide by this I will get beta equal to one so this is a common proof of what your teacher was telling you in class you can calculate it yourself and make sure that your beta of the market should be equal to one now the similar practice we will apply on the covariance of the market with the stock carefully see now the information will slightly change we will again go back to the data we have already working on the statistical tool so now we again need covariance we will take covariance of the sample now in the first array carefully see i will select the company data returns and in second i will select the stock market data this will give me covariance of market with a stock variance of the market is already calculated by you carefully see so you can give its reference over here or you can calculate doesn't make any difference you will get the same 
student, the most important thing that you're always interested to calculate beta of a stock. Beta of a stock, you can calculate if you take covariance of the market and divided by the variance of the market. So the beta of a stock is coming 1.16. Now the last thing before this, I will suggest that subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. You will get more, many interesting things related to finance uh, in coming lectures. Beta of the stock is 1.16. Is it more risky? Is it less risky? Is it good or bad? So here is the support provided to you. You already know these things, but just giving you a reminder, if bit of the stock is more than one, it, it is more risky than market. If bit of a stock is less than one means it is less risky than market. I hope that you will give me your comments about this lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.